The topic of this tutorial is real estate agency bank accounts, including the trust account and general account. So trust accounting, so the actual process and detailed procedures for trust accounting is covered in the full license course. Uh, however, we will go through some basic requirements that you may need to be aware of. Our trust accounts are used when receiving or paying money on behalf of a client. Uh, so the key rule of trust accounting is that it is not your money. Uh, the general business account is used for the day-to-day -day agency expenses. Uh, the trust account money cannot be borrowed. Even $10 can't be taken out of the trust account to pay for something. Uh, examples of trust money are deposits for purchase of property. So when a buyer purchases a home, they will pay the deposit into the agency's trust account. Uh, when tenants pay rent or when tenants pay a rental bond, uh, the money is receded into your agency trust account. Uh, and if you have vendor paid marketing, that is marketing expenses that are paid in advance of being spent, uh, the money is receded into your trust account. The key legislative controls on trust accounts are that the principal agent is responsible for trust money. Okay, so your licensing in charge is ultimately responsible for the monies in trust. Funds can only be withdrawn by EFT or check. Okay, so money is not to be paid out of a trust account by cash. Uh, funds cannot be used for any other purpose. So when money is receipted in, that is the only thing it can be used for. If a buyer pays a deposit on a sale, that money can't be borrowed to pay anything until such time as you're authorised to disperse it. So funds can only be released to pay the person who is legally entitled to the money. Okay, so for tenants rent, for example, tenants rent uh, will pay their rent into your trust account and at end of month you will disperse the money to the owners as they are the people who are legally entitled to the funds.